Just give me the strength Amen. to do what I have to do. Don't let the sign of the red. Give me a, don't let your spirit depart from me. Because what I have to do has to please you. Amen. Not something that I want to do for myself. Oh, yes. Amen? Amen. What you have to do will be in line with the will of God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For that beautiful song. Amen. Every time we say clap, only we have to always. I'm going to hear her clapping. I don't hear the, the, yeah. the, the, the members clapping. Amen. Let us put our hands together for the choir. Hallelujah. Are you happy to be in the house of God this amen. morning? Yes, yes, yeah, amen. Hallelujah. Are you glad to be in the house of God this oh, morning? Oh, yeah. yeah. Then you have to show it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Then you have to show it that you are happy to be in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because God is not interested in numbers, but God is interested in those that are willing to worship me in truth and in spirit. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Some of the kind that don't look for numbers. Yeah. Hallelujah. Taken from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, from verse 3 to 17 and verse 21. Amen? Amen. And the theme is the divinity of God's word. Hallelujah. Amen. The divinity of God's word. Let us put our hands together to welcome <laughs> Reverend Dr. Jamie Lamy to the book. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Down with the wisdom of God. Amen. To plant the word of God into your heart. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Deacon Thomas. I don't know about you. I'm so excited this morning. Amen. Because the Bible says, I was directed to tell unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So I'm always happy every Sunday morning. I'm privileged to be in Gospel Church. For me, it is a celebration. We got beautiful. Amen. We thank you, Lord, the Father. Once again, for bringing us before your throne of grace, to be fair with your words, O Lord. Amen. We thank you, Father, because we know that you are always with us. The words are going to be sold this morning. We visit you, Father, to let you find for the grants in our hearts, O Lord. And not your message, Father, consecrated hearts that will hear them. And with my tongue, O Lord. Do not let us be here as a Lord, but do us at our own. And end of this message, Father. Do not let our lives be empty. Let us have something to take back home. And live all day. You know that Son Jesus Christ, Father, we pray. Amen. Amen. Can you be seated, please? Good morning, church. Now we will open our Bible to Ezekiel chapter 3. Now we shall be reading from verse 17 to 21. Ezekiel chapter 3. I'll be reading from verse 17 to 21. Ezekiel is on page 716. On your King James Version, 716. 17, are we there? Son of man, 
I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth, and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speaketh the one, the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thy hand. Yet, if thou want the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness, and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because thou hast not given him warning, he shall die in a sin, and his righteousness which he had done shall not be remembered. But his blood will I require at thy hand. Last verse 21. Nevertheless, if thou want the righteous man, that the righteous sin not, and he doth not sin, he shall surely live. Because he is one, also thou hast delivered thy soul. May God bless his holy word. Amen. The thing for this morning is the divinity of God's word. The divinity of God's word. The word. And what is word? The word is a form of latent force and energy, you may say. To all of us, word has become a part of our life that we could not really define the true meaning or appreciate the power in the words we say, except we know for sure that we say word, we hear word, we send word, we receive word, we write word, we read word and we use word. Word has hence become an invisible object, like a spirit, and which has force and energy. And to expatiate more into trying to understand this little force we call word, let us see how this little force has been classified in the Bible. First of all, we have the word of God. As we could read in Acts of Apostles 4.31, and when they had prayed, the place was shaking, where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they speak the word of God with boldness. Amen. 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 And also in Ephesians 6, 17 and 18, the truth, he said, he said that, And take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Amen. Praying always, with all prayer, and supplication in the spirit, and watching the unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And also we have the word of God. The word of God, as we also read in Genesis 15, 1, it says, after these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in her vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham. I am thy shield, and that exceeding great reward. And also in first Samuel. 3, 1, and 7 to 10, and the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli, and the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision. God spoke to us, like we also read in Psalm 33, 6 and 8, for the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. And by the word of the Lord we are the heavens made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. And also we have the word of wisdom. As we also read in Proverbs 3, 13 and 14. Happy is the man that finds wisdom, and the man that gets understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. And words of exhortation. First Corinthians 3, 18 to 19. Let no man deceive himself. 
If any man among you seems to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, it takes the wise in their own crossness. Amen? Amen. And then we have the word of authority. As we read in John 8:12, the inspectors again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follows after me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And then we have the word of compassion. In John 8, 10 to 11. And when Jesus had lifted up himself and saw nobody woman, he said unto her, Woman, we are those that accuse us. Had no man condemned thee? She said, No, man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Amen. 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 And then we have the word of commission, word of command by Christ to his servant. As we also read in Ezekiel 3, 10 to 11. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my words shall I speak unto thee, receive in thy heart, and hear with thy ears, and go, get thee to them of the captivity, unto the children of thy people, and speak unto them, and tell them, Thus said the Lord God, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. Having tried to explain what word could mean, we could now try and find out the great importance of word in our relationship with Christ. In the Church of Christ, what is word? Among Christian brothers and sisters, in our homes, and at our places of work, and of what significance is the word to Christians? All books are written. Out of the whole 66 books that comprise the Holy Bible, it was the book of John that made bold to define the word more revealingly. The book of John started with, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And John went further to identify this spirit of or energy that we call word in verse 2 to find. He said, The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. In other words, what is divine? What is holy? What is powerful? And what is spiritual which has life? <clears throat> As we read in John 1:1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. What does word have to do with Christianity? It does in almost everything in our lives. At every stage in the redemptive history, from the time before time, when the whole world was still in total darkness, to God's creation, to man's fall, to Christ's redemption, and to the coming consummation, God has been there, and He is never silent. God's word is certainly create and confront. His word praise, His word convict. It's what correct and it's what also comes for humanity. By his words, he both interprets and instructs in the beginning of creation. It was what that the creator used. And God said, Let there be light. And the reality results, and there was light. Later, it was what that God used to create man. He said, Let us make man in our own image. And once Adam and Eve were created, it is also what that God used to give them dominion and instruction, a cultural mandate. Yeah. Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion. This explains the freedom he gave to mankind. Also use word to control that freedom. 
test mankind. If we can be trusted and worthy of more responsibilities. And God gave man a word of caution and instruction also we read in Genesis 2, 15 to 17. And the Lord God took man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it, to manage it, and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eat thereof, thou shalt surely die. Amen. Praise God. Amen. What do we have in our world today? Is it not the same history repeating itself in our lives? We all have freedom. But we also have rules, ethics, and laws guiding those freedoms. Under the Constitution, we have freedom of religious worship.